February 24th was an ordinary day in our calendar, but in China this day was of huge significance. February 24th marked the 15th day in the lunar calendar, which is the last day of the Chinese New Year festival. This final day, known as Yuan Xiao Jie to the locals, is also a day to celebrate Lantern Festival. On this special day, locals will use many different ways to celebrate when closing out the New Year holiday. Some people who can't get enough will either be out watching parades and performances or stocking up on some fireworks and letting them rip into the early hours of the morning. Some who prefer the quiet will be at home eating traditional glutinous rice balls called Tang Yuan or lighting up a few lanterns. Either way, people are in a great mood and will be celebrating one way or another. For today's episode, we had a look at snxinhuanet.com to find a few of the best places in Shanxi to experience this great day. Our first place took us to Yan'an City to check out the Ansai style waist drum performance. The county of Ansai located in Yan'an is renowned for the best waist drum performances in the country and with hundreds of performers dressed in great costumes, they didn't disappoint. This parade was a huge success, luring in over tens of thousands of tourists and locals to crowd the streets, giving off an incredible atmosphere. Although the focal point of this parade was the waist drum, another big part was a section of performances that involved kids. These kids who were selected among the top performers came out and graced the audience with some breathtaking dancing and performances. The kids showed a wide range of skills by taking part in some dances like this one using traditional Chinese fans or even stepping up and showing off their waist drum skills. The second parade, which was a Shi Huo Lantern Festival, took place in Longxiang County, located in Baoji City. Although the style of parade was similar to the one in Yan'an, the theme was different. This parade had more content that was focused on the Chinese myth and historical folklore stories. As you can see, costumes were more of a traditional look and performances like lion and dragon dances were in abundance. This parade was really pleasing on the eye as not only makeup and costumes were full of color, but also because everything on display was lifted very high. With the constant use of stilts to launch props up, the many thousands of people who came out definitely got their money's worth. For our third and final destination, we traveled to an old historic temple in the city of Weinan to celebrate the Lantern Festival in a very unique way. The Huayin Xiyue Temple, which has been a focal point of their culture for over 2,000 years, staged some performances that depicted all that culture by performing some old musical traditions. This high tempo show is very entertaining as these performers bring huge amounts of energy and are hardly ever sitting still. You can tell they absolutely love it and their big smiles were infectious as all audience members were getting involved. Well, that's it for today. If you've enjoyed our show, remember to catch us every day here on Blue Ocean Network. For more information, please visit bon.tv. I'm Aaron Staden Roby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. And finally, I want to say to everyone out there, Yuan Xiao Jie, Kuai Le.